there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be trying the clear packing tape technique or sellotape or just any clear tape, whatever you call it uh, in your part of the world. So I have this nice big roll here which is um, what I use for kind of taping up boxes and things when I send them off. So that's what I'm using today. Then I'm also going to use this big gorgeous butterfly and this is going to be my focal point. Now you could have any die cut that you want, anything that you have. I like the fact that it has lots of different little gaps and things in it and it's nice and detailed. So I have die cut out one already in plain black cardstock. And then the second one here I'm going to put some stick it adhesive on the back and then I'm going to die cut it as well. Now there are two different types of double sided adhesive that you will see me using. So sometimes if I have a really detailed um, image that I would like to die cut, I use the stick it adhesive because it is so nice and thin. And if it is just I need it for another purpose or I don't need to die cut it, then I use the scrapbook.com double sided adhesive sheets. And that one is very sticky. They both end up permanent and I love both of them. So those are the two that I use in my little craft space. Now, just if you have a really delicate image that you are die cutting, I always add a little bit of foam, like packaging foam underneath. When I receive a parcel wrapped up in it or anything, I always save it and cut it up into little squares ready to use when I am die cutting. And that's what you saw me run through with my machine before. So now I have one that has the stick it adhesive on the back and one that is just plain black cardstock. And the one that is plain black cardstock is the one that I'm going to put the packing tape on. Now I've seen a lot of different ways of doing this, but the way that I'm going to do it today, I don't want the glitter to be able to come off. That's really important to me when I am giving someone a card. I don't want them to end up with a mess. So the glitter is going to be on the back in this one. So I have got a nice long piece of this tape here, just long enough to be um, the entire width of my butterfly and I'm going to kind of set it down on my desk. Now if you are going to have overlapping parts of your tape, that doesn't matter at all. I promise you, you will not end up seeing them. You can have as many joins as you need to and I just make sure that they overlap a little bit. I don't even just try and get them side by side because I don't want any gaps. I just give them a little bit of overlap. So I'm putting kind of the right side of the die down onto the sticky tape. So here we're looking at the back of the butterfly, the back side of the die cut. Now I need two pieces to cover up my entire butterfly, but as I said, if you just have thinner sellotape or packing tape or clear tape, then go for gold and use as many as you need to. Now just to kind of make this easier when I'm going to add the glitter, I'm going to fussy cut around most of this butterfly and it's really easy. The scissors kind of glide around the tape so it's not like um, fussy cutting it out of normal cardstock or anything. It goes a lot quicker and honestly I found that I could kind of half by just tear it and rip it and it ripped beside the die cut. So uh, I didn't do a perfect job and I actually end up coming back and finishing it off later on but I wanted the majority gone just so that I didn't kind of have glitter everywhere. Now I went through my stash, found the glitters that I liked and decided I would go for the three colors of kind of yellow, orange and reddish. These are from all different companies. I do not use glitter that often at all in my card making, but I am going to use and make an effort to kind of use up what I have. So this is a little piece of release paper uh, from the sticker adhesive, which I just used to press it down, trying to keep my fingers out of the glitter as much as possible. Now don't get me wrong, this is kind of a messy technique. Anything with glitter involves a little bit of mess, but there are really cool cleaning cloths and things that you can use to help you along the way with glitter. And I don't mind it too much at all. So here I'm just kind of dabbing it in a little bit. I am leaving a little bit of space because I know I want the red to go on there still. And each time I just kind of tip off the layer of whatever color I'm working with so I can pop it back in the pottle. And then I get a new little piece of scrap paper behind it so that I'm not mixing up colors. But you can see I just kind of tap it off there and pour the rest back in. And that way I'm not wasting any and I will be able to use it for another project. So here you can see that kind of all the glitter is nice and loose, but look how gorgeous and I will show you in a second. This is so sparkly. Now I must admit it is a little bit hard on camera to kind of pick it up without picking up the glare of the packing tape. 
but in real life it's not quite that glary it's kind of just my filming lights and things that are bringing it up a little bit more I did decide to cut off the antennae of this butterfly because when I add on my other one here which has the stick it adhesive on the back this this one will have the antennae so I wasn't worried about that but before I stick this down, I am going to just add a little bit of shine to it. So I'm using some Versamark Sticky Embossing Ink and some Ranger Clear Embossing Powder. And I'm going to dip it in and then I will pull it out and melt all of that embossing powder. You can totally skip this step. In fact, if you want to, you can skip the whole step of putting another butterfly on top but I quite like that kind of finished look and I also like the idea that I can make this all nice and shiny from the top um, and it sort of looks like there are layers to my butterfly but as I said you can definitely skip this step and just uh, leave it with the packing tape on top that would be fine as well I ended up doing two layers here on this butterfly just so that it had a really nice good thick layer of shine. I really like doing that with embossing powder. I find that it does make a big difference, especially if you end up with a little bit of pitting. Most times a second layer of embossing powder and melting it will get rid of those issues. So I did two layers here um, and it's a whole nother different technique <laughs> where you can kind of layer up um, all of your embossing. But anyhow, you can see that beautiful shine on this butterfly. And then I am going to pop this down over top of my glittered butterfly that I have here. So all you have to do with the stick and adhesive is peel it off. And this one is really intricate, so I'm kind of having to peel off all the different little pieces nice and slow. Slowly, but then all I have to do is stick it down on top of my glittered butterfly and remember that it is glittered from the back here so this is the reason that I wanted to be able to contain all of the glitter and the glitter will be facing down however there are lots of different ways to do this and you can just kind of experiment and enjoy and have fun creating when you are giving it a go if you do decide to give it a go, I would so love to see your results and a great place to do that is my Facebook page. We have an amazing supportive group which is growing so fast and I love being a part of it. So thank you so much for everyone who is over there and supporting me and sharing all of your fabulous projects. I love being able to see what you create and that is the best place to be able to show me. Now this is a texture paste product here. I am really sorry, this looks like it has been discontinued, but this is in my stash and I love using this iridescent paste, so I will keep using it um, and I do apologize, I think it's unavailable now, but if you already have this in your stash, then you'll be able to use it and if not, then you could use some uh, transparent texture paste and add some glitter or some chunks of um, iridescent glitter, that's basically what it is, it has quite big chunks in it but it kind of dries perfectly flat which is what I like about it so I really do apologize for that but I'm still going to use it in today's video I have covered a piece of four by five and a quarter inch plain white cardstock in the texture paste and I'm just going to let that dry in the meantime I'm going to stamp out my little sentiment which will go on the front and this is the word fragment stamp set I've used this lots of times before in lots of videos and I love it it's a favorite it's very versatile and it has a little few uh, kind of sentiments that are a little bit different it has all of the normal ones which is what I like and then it has some that I haven't come across before which is uh, something that I like about a stamp set so I can use kind of whichever one I'm feeling for a project but this one today is going to say congratulations now this is all nice and dry and it is so glittery it has the big chunks and kind of the fine glitter I'm really disappointed that it's been discontinued but uh, so I apologize for using it today but it's in my stash and I think it's really important to keep using what's in your stash so have a look see what you can make see what you can use instead of and I think it'll work out perfect so here I have got my four little bits of double-sided adhesive and then one little bit in the middle pull back a little tab of each of the four outside bits so that it gives you something to hold on to and this way I can layer it up really nice and easily with my black matting layer often in my previous videos you will have seen that I just use black ink uh, on the sides of my card to create a frame however I couldn't do that because I added the texture paste this time around but on the back of my black matting layer, I have done the same technique with the four little pieces at the side. And then once it's all lined up, I press my thumb in the middle to seal it and then pull out the four edges and you have it all really nicely lined up. 
So I've just kind of a matter of pulling this card all together now. I'm going to add some liquid glue on the back. So this is the side that has kind of the raw glitter there. And then once I've added some liquid glue here, there and everywhere, enough that I know it's going to be nice and secure, I'm going to pop it down right onto the center of my card. I don't want any dimension behind this butterfly and that would be kind of an added layer of difficulty. So for me, it was just enough to pop it down nice and flat onto the card. And it is so glittery. It's very hard to kind of pick up on camera here. I was really struggling to show you guys how sparkly it was um, without my filming lights making it glare. So I'm sorry about that, but trust me, in real life, it's gorgeous. And I'm going to pop the little congratulations down even though I pop it down wonky and then fix it up. It is popped up on a little bit of foam tape and then I will add some black Nuvo drops to finish it off. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this and please give this clear packing tape or seller tape uh, technique a go. It is so much fun. And hopefully you have lots of the supplies at home ready to go. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.